Hello everyone, good to be with you. This is meteorologist Erica Rascaeta at the One News Weather Center. Well, happy Tuesday to everyone there and we are expecting a very cool and active early winter pattern throughout this week where we are expecting a few snow showers tonight. Then finally we will see a break from the precipitation throughout the day on Wednesday and into Thursday, but then the chance for snow will return late Thursday into Friday as we are expecting various systems to continue to work its way across most of the Northwest. Taking a look at the conditions throughout the past 24 hours across Ephrata, we did see highs reaching into the mid-30s when we should have been in the mid-30s, exactly where we should be for this time of the year. Overnight lows reached into the upper 20s still, leaving us above average of where we should be for this time of the year. We did see dry conditions all across the area, just a few low-lying clouds. And throughout the past 24 hours across the Columbia Basin, highs reached into the mid-30s, exactly where we should be for this time of the year. But still, overnight lows did leave us above average as we should be in the lower 20s. We did see some trace amounts of precipitation, but apart from that, a quiet day was in store for us. Current conditions across most of the area, temperatures reaching into the mid-30s, mostly cloudy skies still, and dew point temperatures still very close to the actual temperature, which basically shows us that the atmosphere will remain relatively saturated compared to drier conditions that we saw just a few days ago. We are expecting winds to continue to blow mainly from the southeast. And here's what we, we saw throughout the past 24 hours, a low pressure system from the Pacific working its way towards the northwest that left us abundant moisture, especially across the coastal areas. And even across the Cascades, we did see some snow developing. A budding cloud cover was expected, and that's exactly what we saw throughout the day today. And here's what we can expect throughout the next 24 to 36 hours. That low pressure system will slowly continue to work its way across most of our state, already leaving a mix of rain and snow across most of the Cascades, with a few showers across the coastal areas. And further to the south, we're still seeing some storms developing near the coast. We're expecting abundant moisture throughout most of the evening, but still overnight we're expecting to remain relatively dry, but more towards the south. For us here across the Columbia Basin, we are expecting a few showers to continue continue and then improving throughout the day on Wednesday where we are expecting gradual clearing and that could last us throughout most of the evening on Wednesday and even into Thursday finally a break from that precipitation. The majority of the precipitation throughout the next few days will remain across the inland northwest especially across portions of the Idaho panhandle. Then we are expecting for the next week and the next system to slowly approach the area and there we see it across most of Canada and the Pacific working its way into our area and that's going to leave us the next shot of rain for Friday and into the weekend. Throughout the day on Wednesday, we are expecting mostly cloudy skies, a few showers, especially more towards the west. Across the Cascades and even across the coastal areas, we are expecting a few showers to develop throughout the afternoon. And then for us here across the Columbia Basin, we are expecting temperatures all across to reach into the 30s. Royal City, the hot spot on the map, reaching into the lower 40s. We could see some light drizzle, especially for sections more towards the north. So taking a look at the extended outlook, we are expecting a light snow showers possible for Saturday through Tuesday. But apart from that, a break from the precipitation finally for Wednesday and into Thursday. That's all for now, but we'll be right back with sports.